Hey guys, Jazzy Tay here with a hair lock tutorial. As you can see, I got the lock bangs in the front. Do you like? Yeah? Really? Like it if you like it. Okay, so for this tutorial, stay tuned. It is super easy and super quick. And it changes up your look so quickly. Okay guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, so for this look, you're going to need just a water bottle with some water. Uh, sometimes I like to put some essential oils in it. And right now I have some sweet orange essential oil. So if you want to do that, that will be great. Um, and for those of you who feel like the hold isn't strong enough, you can also use rubber bands. But I'm not going to be using any rubber bands for this tutorial. Okay, so let's go. Now the first thing you would do is section off where you would want the bang. I want my bangs to fall like in front of my face like so. So I just sectioned off a piece in the front and I'm going to start from the side. So I get two strands from the side and what I do is wet the locks. It's always important to wet your locks before styling because not wetting your locks can lead to hair loss. Okay, so right now you're just going to twist, twist the root and then twist the locks into each other. Okay, so you're basically doing two stranded twists and let me see if I can just get up close so that you guys can see just the basic two-stranded twist all the way down to the ends of your locks and then after this you're actually going to bring it up and once you bring it up it's usually supposed to twist onto itself so after it's twisted onto itself like so you wrap the rest of this excess lock around and there's a little loop here and then you just put the ends of the twisted lock inside the loop okay and secure it and well that's one that's one bang right there so I'm gonna get up closer with the second part okay so with the lock all the way down from roots to ends right and it's optional for you to twist the root so but you don't really have to twist the root you definitely have to do the two stranded twists like so Okay, and so what you're going to do next is bring it um, where you want the bank to start. Like I would say, probably by my eyebrows. Uh, you bring this part up like so, and then twist it. Okay, and then you have this excess part right here. This excess you would actually wrap around this part. Now make sure there's a loop at the end, okay, this little loop right here, so that you can put the excess lock that you're twisting around inside of it to secure it. So right now, I'm just going to put the excess lock in here and secure it like so. Okay. And then, of course, you, you shape it to your liking, of course. You can bend it and have it work with you rather than against you. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest. I mean, it's not much. I have about six, six that I'm trying to make in two bangs. And I've already done two, so this is the third one. And I'm just going to be twisting. 
Okay, and what's great about this style is, is that you can leave it in for a couple of days and once you're tired of the bang, you can unravel it and you'll have really curly locks. Now, you could probably see from the side that the bang is kind of sticking out. Don't worry. I will show you how to fix that. Okay, so you twist it, right? And up probably by my eyebrow, like I said, you bring this up and then you twist it around itself. Or, you know what? It'll automatically twist onto itself. Now, make sure you have hole right at the end of your lock so that way when you wrap this excess around you can put it through the loop to secure the lock okay this one is a bit feisty Woo. okay that's that's three okay so this look was originally in my makeup tutorial Halloween edition I will paste the link onto the body of this video so that you can check out the tutorial and what I was rocking for Halloween so this is the fourth bang fourth lock bang and so far it's coming along real nice okay I'm twisting I'm twisting I'm twisting moving that to the side okay so again by my eyebrow bring this up twist like so and then wrap around wrap around yeah so then you're gonna put it through the loop okay and then you're gonna secure it it's looking kind of unruly right now but so far it's coming along nice how many we got left uh okay i got two left okay again wet from roots to ends to protect your hair and you know what it also keeps it moisturized too and because of the essential oils you got it smelling good too okay you gotta be good to your hair okay so two stranded twists I say it again yes and you twist it all the way down like so for those of you who are wondering my favorite color is not pink it's actually purple I love me some purple okay so wrap around like so you probably can't see how I'm wrapping it around but I'm sure you guys get the gist of it okay okay that's another one and we got one more left it's the last one this is the last stretch yes soak that lock up hair loves water all right so this is the last one and then I'm gonna show you how to <laughs> make your hair ruly in the front cuz it's kinda looking all crooked not so bad but I know I prefer it <laughs> look at that sticking out I prefer it a little more kempt in the front okay so bring it like this and then wrap around and this is the last wrap around this is the last lap and then tuck inside
All right. So now what you do? Yes, it's looking kind of, it's kind of looking like a hot mess. Now what you do? Since it's wet, you can always like shape it to your liking. So what I'm doing right now, I'm actually bending it towards my head like so. Okay. I'm bending it towards my my head so okay so I'm back okay so I end up actually putting rubber bands on the tips if you can see I put them on the tips of each lock just to make sure that none of them unraveled on me and as far as making sure the the lock bangs doesn't stick out um, water is your best friend like I said you just spray you just spray on it like so and then you would actually bend it bend it towards your forehead to make it uh, curl like a bang you know so this is the finished product okay Okay, so you guys like or what? I'm going to step back some. Okay, so you can even accessorize a little bit and put a little hair accessory. I like this. It's, uh, it's pretty. So I just put it here like so. All done okay this one is kind of getting on my nerves here this one just gonna okay just curl it curl it towards your forehead there we go it's all better now okay so if you want more tutorials like this just uh, rate comment and subscribe if you like this video and let me guys let me let me know what you think um, post comments in the video description box and I'll see you guys in the next video later guys pieces